The Fairy Tales 2014's episode uh, 62, with uh, even more awesome music, although the animation may have uh, halted a little bit. The episode begins with Natsu showing Yakul he can nullify his explosions. And the funny thing is when he does it t once again, the glare he gives in the anime, that is actually ex look extremely funny. As Yakul wonders if he's human, suddenly Yakul changes into a more demonic, like, well, or more, la or more, it's easier to say, it almost looks like a werewolf type form. His voice gets deeper, though. And his power increase. But Natsu is Natsu. He pummels Jackal until he can do a combination of lightning fire emperor and practically throws away Jackal. The funny thing is also Natsu criticized Jackal for destroying the town when he entered this demon form. However, Natsu used that power well. The town got also pretty destroyed. <laughs> Then Jackal tries to do a, a, some a, somewhere that looks like a nuclear suicidal bomb, but uh, Happy flies up with Jackal in order to prevent him from blowing up the town, and instead Jackal blows up in the sky, where it looks like Happy has died with him. And here is actually funny; they play a very good music there, solemn music there too. And the Moses is aiming in to Charlie, who looks completely devastated. But then Happy turns out to be alive. Just like that? He was alive? Well, he got an afro hair, but... How did he survive? Did he use his max speed just at the right second? Uh, that's the only logical solution. We are then switched back to the other Fairtale members who have searched for the different sages or council members, but they are all dead. In Grey and UVS side, someone went on a rampage. The entire city is like it's just been cut by a sword. In uh, Levi, Lilis, and Gajil side, together with the two worthless members, they are. It looks like a mess, but other than that, it's no connection on how anything happened. Elfer, Elfman, and Lizana have reached that stage, who apparently weakens but then falls down unconscious where they see the, the demon Tartarus Saya, who apparently controls the body with something she calls Makro. But then suddenly, Elfman begins to strangle Izana, with the Sala saying, this is a demon story who has no mercy. So, Makarov contacts the other members, including Natsu, and tells them everything about it. As Natsu have sailed, saved their council member, he is in deep shock and shaking, revealing the true purpose of what Tartarus is after, he thinks. Apparently, uh, we all know that Council had Ethereum, a weapon that requires a large amount of sages in order to fire. But now with those, page, fa now with those sages dead, they cannot, Ethereum cannot be fired. But that's not Tartarus' real goal. Their real goal is a magic pulse bomb called Face. And it's a bomb that once exploded, all magic will disappear from the continent. And seeing that Tartarus is a guild that uses curses, they are the only ones who will not be affected by the bomb. Thus, they can control this world of Fiore. Truly a terrifying weapon, I mean, come on. Yes, who is stupid enough to create that? It's... <clears throat> it's Edolas situation all over again. Are you telling me mag magic really can disappear forever? <sighs> well, the council members sure are paranoid. I wonder who they are trying to prevent to having that kind of weapon. <clears throat> Either way, the only one who will know the final council members is the former chairman. So, Fairy Tale sends the most <coughs> reliable duo. Mira, Jane, and Ersa in a riding on a bull to, st to, to tell them. That's basically this episode. I have nothing new to say except, uh, as usual, wonderful music. The animation looked a little bit more sloppy there, but the, this time the, the face-up had a pretty funny scene, especially when Natsu choked another bomb. Uh, 
when the team told uh, when when they told the Natsu did a good job in the explosion and even when Charlie was mourning so the, the close-ups really worked in this episode give me a false if you have any